The Physics of Baseball by Justin Godey and John Jardine. Next up is a demonstration of how a larger impulse causes a greater change in velocity of the baseball. We start off with two swings at full speed. Then we have a few examples of bunting the ball. Notice how the ball that is swung at leaves the bat with a much greater velocity than the ball that is bunted. The definitions of impulse explain why this occurs. An object experiences an impulse when a force is exerted on it over an interval of time. Impulse is also equal to the change in momentum of an object. Therefore, when the bat exerts a greater force on the ball, the ball experiences a greater impulse and change in momentum. Since momentum equals mass times velocity, a greater change in momentum means the ball leaves the bat with a greater velocity. This is also why hitters are told to follow through when they swing, because staying in contact with the ball as long as possible increases time and therefore impulse. Next is projectile motion. Changing the angle that a ball is thrown will affect the horizontal displacement it travels. Notice how the first ball is thrown at a high angle above the horizontal, resulting in a small horizontal displacement. The next ball is thrown at an angle smaller than that and travels further, as does the third ball. The fourth ball is thrown at about a 45 degree angle and travels the farthest. When the ball is thrown below this angle, its displacement also becomes less and less, as seen in the last two throws. This results from the horizontal range equation. The range equation can be derived using the kinematics equation in the x and y directions. Notice that sine of 2 theta will be greatest when 2 theta equals 90 degrees. Therefore, an angle of 45 degrees above the horizontal will result in the greatest horizontal displacement, assuming velocity remains constant. Another demonstration of this is with Major League Baseball players hitting home runs and line drives. Notice how the ball hit at a 45 degree angle travels much farther than the ball hit at a smaller angle. Hitters use this fact to hit home runs. Last is a demonstration of fluid pressure and velocity and how these affect how much a pitch drops when thrown. A fastball tends not to drop very much as it travels to home plate. When thrown, a fastball rotates in such a way that the top of the ball moves in the same direction as the air flowing past it, while the bottom of the ball moves in the opposite direction as the air flowing past it. This causes the velocity of the air to be greater on the top and smaller on the bottom of the ball. According to Bernoulli's equation, when velocity is smaller, pressure will be greater. Since pressure equals force times area, this change in pressure results in a force from the air being exerted on the bottom of the ball, which helps to accelerate a fastball upwards and counteract the acceleration due to gravity. Here's a better demonstration of a major league pitcher throwing a fastball. Notice how the curveball drops much more as it travels to the plate. A curveball rotates in the opposite direction of a fastball, so the air flows faster on the bottom than it does on top. This causes the pressure on top of the ball to be greater, which results in a force from the air being exerted in the downwards direction. This accelerates the ball towards the ground and causes it to drop more as it reaches the plate. This is a demonstration of a major league pitcher throwing a curveball. Pitchers take advantage of the fact that curveballs drop more than fastballs to fool hitters who don't know what pitch to expect.